Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to make your PhD enjoyable. The word PhD gives shivers to a number of students who are currently doing PhD or are thinking of doing a PhD. But to be frank, PhD doesn't need to be like that. It can be an enjoyable and a memorable experience. You're going to spend three or four years of your life doing a PhD. So why not make it enjoyable and a happy experience? Let's talk about the first thing that you can do to make your PhD enjoyable. Know the rules, know what is expected of you and just deliver that, follow that. Uh, remember I told you in my earlier videos, you need to have a project plan. Consider your PhD as a project, plan it and follow the plan. If you do that, I think I don't see there could be any reason PhD not being an enjoyable exercise. Choose the topic that you're passionate about, something that you like and not just that, but you should have good skills in that area as well. So if you have done an undergrad and postgrad uh, in a particular field, choose a PhD that you want to do in that field. That will not only make it enjoyable and interesting, but you would have all the necessary background, technical knowledge that you need to make the PhD enjoyable and, uh, and fun. Another thing that you can do is join some meetups. I mean, in any city, there are lots of meetups happening. Go, go to attend these meetups, make some new friends, explore ideas, talk to them, collaborate with them and make that a habit, make it part of your PhD plan that you're going to attend a meetup once a week, twice a week or whatever, but have that activity as part of your plan because that is going to give you uh, a reason to step out of your lab, go and meet some new people and just take, take your mind off the PhD or just for that little bit. Milestones are very important. So make sure that you make small milestones, even something very little, something small, but make those milestones and when you achieve those milestones, have a celebration. Go for a drink, have a coffee, just take a break or talk to your friends, but celebrate that small bit of achievement. A small milestone could be writing an abstract for a paper or completing the introduction section of an article that you want to write. Anything, something simple, small and manageable. Keep it, don't keep it like I have to write like 2000 words today. That may or may not happen. But you could break it down to something smaller and manageable. Say, I want to write 300 words and that would be an abstract plus a bit of introduction of my paper that I'm going to begin. That's a good enough milestone and you know that you can achieve it. Combine those different milestones together and you will have a, a really big deliverable. So plan milestones, make them small and achievable. I would suggest one more thing that you can do to make your PhD interesting. And that is to find an opportunity where you can work with the industry or, or work on an industry driven project or a problem that industry is facing. There are some, uh, there are some programs like that which are available in Australia. Uh, one of them is called as APR Intern. Many of my students have done that and it has given them that opportunity to step out of their academic environment and go and work with an industry. Understand the industry problems how they're different from the traditional academic problems and how can you apply your skills to solve an industry problem. Once you do that, you also get a confidence that yeah, you can even actually work in the industry post your PhD. You don't have to be, you don't have to remain in the academia just because you have done PhD. So that's another, another interesting way to make your PhD enjoyable. Finally, I would like to suggest that consider three or four years of your time, not just to complete your PhD or get your PhD, but to prepare yourself for the next future job or a startup that you want to launch. These three or four years are really, really valuable and you should understand how you can make the most out of it. Just completing a PhD at the end of PhD, everyone does that. But how are you well prepared compared to the others when you graduate? Keep that thing in mind and see how you can plan that in your PhD project plan. And definitely include that because that is what is going to be big differentiator for you once you complete your PhD. So there you go. These were some of my tips on how to make your PhD enjoyable. At the moment, if you are just feeling a bit down or not happy and just thinking that PhD is boring, listen to my video over and over again and I hope I motivate you to change your thoughts and you get passionate about your research again. Good luck.